As the United States and its allies began to liberate France and moving into Germany and from the Soviet side, especially as they liberated Poland, the Holocaust was revealed. Now, during World War II, America and the allies were aware that the Jewish population was being held in concentration camps. They were also aware that uh, others, political prisoners, uh, undesirables from the German point of view, uh, were being held as well. Um, before the war even started, the United States was aware that there was be, there was there was anti-Semitic discrimination happening in Germany towards the Jewish population. We can see that pre-war, the Nazis had tried to well successfully did um, targeted the Jewish population with Nuremberg laws written because they were in, uh, called that because they were written in Nuremberg. Uh, and the Nuremberg Laws were a successful attempt to remove citizenship from German Jewish people. And with that citizenship removed, it allowed discrimination from the general population towards those citizens. And over time, this gradual but, but quick discrimination grew more and more severe and eventually more and more violent. And to the point where in 1938, we have Kristallnacht, the Night of Broken Glass, where um, it is a state-sponsored attack on the Jewish population. From that point, the, and even before, the Jewish population had tried to leave Nazi Germany. But the problem was that there was anti-Semitic discrimination worldwide. Uh, there was still during the Great Depression, so there was a lot of immigration restrictions everywhere. Even the United States failed to do anything to try to stop this, either by publicly pressuring Germany or by allowing more immigration into the United States. In Germany, the Nuremberg Laws played on existing anti-Semitism and a desire to scapegoat the, the loss of World War I and the destruction of the German economy. Uh, the Aryans believed they were superior to everybody else, so they could not possibly have lost World War I and the economy was in shambles. That can't be the Aryans' fault. So the Aryan supremacists, the Nazis, said it's the, the Jewish people's fault and it's the communists, and they linked them together. The United States and the Allies were slow to do anything during the war. Well, because the United States didn't have the moral high ground. They had concentration camps in their country as well. They were uh, putting the Japanese into internment camps. They saw the Nazis as doing similar things. Now, they didn't they weren't aware of the extent of the concentration camps. Uh, the Nazis used a lot of propaganda, a lot of lies and deception in order to make it seem like they were less bad than they actually were. The United States also had severe immigration quotas that they did not lift in order to allow more Jewish refugees, people trying to escape this political um, punishment, this political persecution, uh, they didn't allow them into the country. The horrors of the Holocaust really are uncovered as the army is liberating these camps. <clears throat> now, you're not going to see any of the horrors on this video. If you want to, that go somewhere else. When they uncover what the Nazis had done, things like um, the, the dead bodies, the, the crematoriums, the um, collection of um, silver out of the teeth, the bags of hair, the collection of shoes. That's when they truly realized what had happened and they begin to change their uh, perception about how they should punish the Nazis. You see, the Nazis had created what, what we today call death camps. They, there was no intent of holding them for a further date. It was they were using the Jewish people and the others to uh, work them literally to death. Six million Jewish people are going to die. Six million others are going to be murdered. The Jewish population is murdered as well. And what Hitler called the final solution. Um, in the 1920s and 30s, they had referred to the Jewish population as the Jewish question. What should Europe do with the Jewish people? And Hitler said, I have the final solution. Uh, we are going to systematically eliminate the entire Jewish population. Once those horrors are uncovered, the Allies needed to hold the Nazi sympathizers and the Nazi party accountable. They uh, 
called the Nuremberg Laws through the United Nations and the World Court. They created the Nuremberg, uh, they, not the Nuremberg Laws, these are the Nuremberg Trials. See, I messed that up. You might mess that up too. The Nuremberg Trials to hold the Nazis accountable. They came up with a new classification. The Nazis said, we didn't do anything wrong. It was not illegal for a German person to kill a Jewish person, it, according to German law. So what they did is they said, well, it is a crime against humanity because every society has a law against murder. What you did may not have broke German law, but you broke uh, law of humanity. It is a crime against humanity itself. They also set war crimes trial precedents. Um, the Nazi uh, soldiers said we were just following orders and the court said, no, you do not get to use that as an excuse. If you know that a law is, or if you know that a, a, an order is wrong or unlawful, you have an obligation not to follow it. So you can't get away with, with just saying um, the establishment, uh, you can't just get away with saying I was following orders. The last thing is that the um, allied powers are gonna establish the country of Israel. Uh, they're going to take a colony that the British had called Palestine. They're going to carve a piece of territory out of Palestine, and they're going to give it to the Jewish population as a homeland. This is going to lead to a whole mess of other po uh, problems in the Middle East, uh, springing from the colonialism and then the, the, the what the Palestinians are going to see as an occupation. Um, one last thing. <clears throat> There is a museum called Yad Vashem in Israel. They recognize what are referred to as the righteous among the nations. Just to end this on a note that is not somber, people did try to resist. They're, they're, we have to acknowledge that as well. There is a number of people on this list of referred to as the righteous among the nations that attempted to help the people that were targeted by the Holocaust escape the Holocaust. So if you'd like to go check that out, uh, Yad Vashem is the uh, Israeli um, Holocaust Museum, and they do a lot to talk about the resistance efforts and not just the atrocities.